Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Ultima Underworld! When last we left off, we managed to get the Key of Infinity, which is hiding around in our Plot Important Items bag. Right there. And we are also searching for the very last talisman. Remember when we got that flute? Yeah, all those uh, videos ago when we got that flute that I put in the Plot Important Items part of the uh, inventory. That is because, remember what the person who taught us the tune said? That he played the tune many times, and that when... And that apparently, if you play it in a certain location, something wonderful happens. That is the hint that you get on what to do when it comes to uh, getting the final talisman. As it's not the um, a spirituality item per se, although you do need to actually get it from the... Um, Shrine of Spirituality, which is actually not entirely connected to Britannia in a physical sense. But it is called the Cup of Wonder in this game, and you need to uh, speak a mantra at a certain shrine. The only problem is, we don't know what that mantra is. So we are going to... Uh, we're going to figure it out. Your hands are full. They are indeed full. <laughs> Let us, uh, put this sword away for the moment, and do that. And then we shall- oh. We sort of need to be in have it in our hands, do we? Right. There we go. Now what we need to do, is we need to rest. Resting... ...should confer something interesting. Must not be committed to complete it. For if he unleash a vast destructive evil upon our fair world, he slew initial attempt, although my spirit cannot rest, I cannot do, stop him, and I can ask thee with thy task, wits and virtue must be thy. Okay, let us, uh, use this, ah, here we go. We use this, and we get, a uh, HN. Let's write that down. HN. And that is entirely gone and useless. However, we have two more pieces of incense that we shall use to get more information. S.A. <laughs> okay. And then one more. Away with you, incense! One more piece of incense. There we go. We no longer need this torch. This torch is useless to us. I'm sure Zack will pick it up later. And I N. So we have six letters in combinations, and we need to combine them to make a mantra. And then we need to speak that mantra at a shrine. Remember the person on floor 6 that said that there were some really complicated mantras that had multiple parts? That was the hint to say that you needed to uh, use those letters together as a shrine um, mantra. We have a shrine right next door, practically, down here. We could try the various combinations in making up this um, mantra. Hmm. Always hear that noise when you walk by there. So! The question is, what is the mantra? Is it just all the letters together? No. Is it them in a different order? It's not. The Cup of Wonder is to the west. The west? Hmm. The west? There must be an area over here, then. Okay. Let's have a look, shall we? Let's have a look. I'm curious about that. So it's to the west. Must be on the right floor, that's fortunate. And all because I needed a light source. Imagine if I hadn't needed a light source. I would have started on, say, floor... 5 or 6. I do believe it does inform you if you need to actually go down a floor to go and get one of the, um, to go and get to the cup. Now, apparently, 
to the west, so it must be down there. Must be. Must be that way. Down there. Hmm. Well, let's go. Let's have a look. Is there anything down here? Something to open? Cannot use that. Well, that's not helping me at all. What about up here? Ah! I see a gazer up there. I doubt the gazer's going to be friendly. I'm not armed with my weapon. I put the weapon away. The gazer seems perfectly... Oh! The gazer does not seem perfectly fine just to stare at me. The gazer is going to try and kill me. Fortunately, it's just a gazer. And gazer at this point is not a problem to me. Yep, gazer, not an issue. There's a book here, though. Let's have a look and see what this says. Too far away. A little too close there. What do we got? Ah, nimbleness and tumbling. Don't really need that. Now, there's absolutely nothing here. There's absolutely nothing here. But that's because since it's in the Shrine of Spirituality, it won't be here. We need to get it here. And we're going to get it here using the flute. We need to use the flute. Now, you need to press the number keys to correspond to what you want to play. Let's play the tune that we were told would be useful to us. Three. Five, four, two, three, seven, eight. I think I pressed six there by mistake. Nope, I pressed six by mistake. Let's try again. Three, five, four, two, three, seven, eight, seven, five. An object appears in the air and falls into your hand. This is the Cup of Wonder, and is the final talisman of Sir Kabiris. We now possess everything we need to complete the game. We have the Ring of Humility. We have the Book of Honesty. We have the Standard of Honor. We have the Taper of Sacrifice. We have the, we have the uh, Wine of Compassion. Or oh, is the wine of honesty, is it? It's one of them. Trust me, it's one of them. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have all eight of the talismans, and we have the key in which to uh, get to the Slasher of Veils. The main problem we have is we have absolutely no current reason to want to go to the Slasher of Veils, because we can't yet deal with the minor issue of the Slasher of Veils. For that, we are going to need to have to head down once again to floor 8. Possibly for the last time. We have no further need to actually be on this floor at all. Or any of the other floors except for floor 8. And maybe floor 5. Because if we... Uh, Hello. What are you doing here? Oh wow, you're hostile. Where did you come from? <laughs> Don't tell me you spawned because you want the Cup of Wonder. Well, you're dead now. I have no idea where you came from, but you are now dead. I don't actually want to go down there, do I? I want to go... in here. Oh, the door's shut. That is not the right combination. I forgot the combination. Whoa! Pressing this wrong has consequences! Pressing this wrong spawns a lot of skeletons! Well, I learned that! That is something I was never going to demo until I got that wrong, was it? Is this an unlimited supply of loot? Or do these skeletons not drop anything? 
these skeletons do not seem to drop anything. Left, right, center. Yep, got it wrong. There we go. We're through now. An unlimited supply of skeletons, eh? Let's head back up to floor number eight, for there is nothing more that we need on this floor at all. This is floor four, and we can just head up down that um, stairway to get down to floor five. <laughs> so we finally have all eight talismans and the key. That is all of the super major plot items secured. We need no more super major plot items in the whole game. We have all of them. We just need to find the last one, which is a pile of bones. Because we need to know what to do with all of this. And the only person who can tell us is unfortunately dead. Which is... Not good, and we are heading entirely the wrong way. It is a good thing that I picked up that map. Imagine trying to play that game with the game without the map. I couldn't. Be extremely difficult. It is this way, is it? Yes, I am heading the right way. We also entirely did not go and do the thing with the uh, the mine. That is because uh, we don't need to. You can do it, in which case you get a massive lump of gold that you give to uh, Goldthirst, and he gives you the password to go into his uh, password to go into his uh, vault. But we don't need that. Also, let's put the fake key down here so we can free up a space. It's unlikely we're going to need the fake key of courage. Because we have the proper key of courage, and the proper key of courage is not fake. So... I'm going completely the wrong way here. Why am I deciding to walk down the lava? Not a good plan. Not a good plan at all. Let's just jump up here, shall we? Okay, we can't jump up here. That's because there's an area you can just walk. Yep. There's an area you can just walk, Kiko. You don't need to jump. I know you have that ring of jumping that you've been using all game. But you don't need to use it right now. Down we go to floor six. And soon we'll be going down to floor seven. And back down to floor eight. We have some bones to get. We have a bone to pick with this game, and it's the brother of Tybal. Tybal, who's also dead! I wonder if Tybal will start haunting us as a ghost now, going, You killed me! Woo! It's very unlikely he's going to be haunting us as a ghost. <laughs> but you never know. And all these people are none the wiser. They're all just looking, going, oh, Master's not been here for a while. Maybe he's just busy. And then, they all meandered off and went back to their various uh, tribes and clans. Unless they basically are their own um, group of goblins. In that case, they can have floor 7, with all of its lava and the fire elementals. Have fun with that, guys! I wouldn't want it. We're back to floor 7. And we're about to head down to floor 8. Oh, floor 8. Here, in fact, is the entrance to floor 8. We're back on floor 8. There is an area we haven't generally explored, which is over here. And that's where I'm thinking of exploring next. Remember, he did say that he uh, picked up the uh, bones from a certain location, surrounded by various magic items. So... When we come back, folks, we will look for those bones. I'll catch you next time, and I'll see you then. Later.